Welcome today to A Moment of Truth. This is your host, Pastor Mark Anderson of King James Bible Church. We are located at 920 Tram Road, Mount Olive, North Carolina, 28365. We're so glad to have you uh, be a part of the program today. Today we're going to be studying uh, the great doctrine of salvation, and we're going to be dealing with the subtopic of hearing some things in the Word of God. If you have your Bibles, please turn with me to Romans chapter 10. In Romans chapter 10, verse 14, the Bible says this, How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? How shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. My friend, today we're talking about the subject of hearing. The first thing you've got to do is get yourself in a position to hear the words of God as they are being preached either by the preacher or by some other method maybe that God has that he's bringing the word of God to you you've got to tune on your spiritual ears and open up and hear what God is saying over and over again we find in the book of Revelation and all throughout the gospels where Jesus and God the spirit had said he that hath an ear to hear let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. Now, you ask the question, what must we hear, my friend? Here's one of the things that we must hear. Go to Matthew chapter 7. Matthew chapter 7, verse 26. In Matthew seven twenty-six. the Bible says this. Verse 26, he says, And every one that heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them not, shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand, and the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. My friend, the reason that the house fell, and the reason the winds came, and the floods came, and tore the house down, was because he would not hear the sayings of Jesus, and do them. He heard some things, but he he didn't obey the things that he was hearing. But the first key to that passage is you got to hear the sayings of Jesus. And they're found in a book, my friend. And the way you find out the sayings of Jesus is open that book and get in it and read it. And it's called a King James Bible. Matthew chapter 13, verse 19. Matthew chapter 13, verse 19. Verse 19, when anyone heareth the word of the kingdom and understandeth it not, then cometh the wicked one and catcheth away that which was sown in his heart. This is he which receives seed by the wayside. Hearing the words of the kingdom are essential to you being born again. Hearing the words of the kingdom are essential for you to be born again. And one of the things the enemy will do to try to keep you out of the kingdom of God is to take the words of the uh, gospel and prevent you from hearing them. The next thing that we find in the scriptures that the Bible tells us we must hear is found in John 8:47. In John chapter 8, in verse 47, the Bible says this, He that is of God heareth God's words. Ye therefore hear them not, because you are not of God. The problem that we're running into all across this nation today is people are attacking the words of God. Now, I'm not talking about sinner folks. They're doing their job as well as attacking the words of God. But I'm dealing with Christian folks today that will listen to me. You better hear me carefully, my friend. There is a lot of Christians in uh, Christian schools all across this nation that are attacking the words of God that are found in your Bible. They're telling you that they are not in the originals. They're telling you that uh, you can't rely on this particular manuscript, that particular manuscript, you got to go to the Hebrew, you got to go to the Greek, you got to go to this scholar and go to that scholar to understand the passages. My friend, you need to throw all that garbage out the window and hear what I'm saying today. You need to hear the words of God and he's put them in a book and he's provided them for you and he is expecting you to not only hear them but also to walk in them and believe them. I have the words of God and I can show you the words of God that are in a book. And in order for you to be able to hear the words of God, they must be available to you. And God has made them available in a book called the King James Bible. The next thing that we're told to hear is found in John chapter 5 verse 24. John chapter 5 and verse 24. 
The Bible says this, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that heareth my word, and believeth on him that sent me, hath everlasting life, and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. So if we hear the words of Jesus, the Bible says, and believe on him that sent him, we'll have everlasting life, and will not come into condemnation, but will be passed from death unto life. The reason people are under condemnation today is because they've rejected the words of Jesus Christ that are found in the Bible. They've rejected the pure preaching of God's words as given in the King James Bible, and they've run after some perverted words and some watered-down uh, Bibles that have not got any more of the Word of God than Mickey Mouse or Donald Duck at Disney World. And the next thing that we're told to read in the Word of God that uh, we must hear is found in John 18 and verse 37. 18 verse 37. Actually, hold your place there before we go to 1837. Let's go to John 1247. It's about to uh, overlook that one. John 1247. The Bible says in verse uh, 47, it ties into what we were just talking about. Um, 1247, it says, If any man hear my words... And believe not, I judge him not, but I came not to judge the world, but to save the world. He that rejecteth me, and receiveth not my words, hath one that judgeth him. The word that I have spoken, the same shall judge him in the last day. My friend, we're going to be judged by the words of God. We're going to be judged by the words of Jesus Christ. And just because you reject those words doesn't keep you any less from getting any closer to the judgment. You're going to be in the judgment seat of God one day standing before the throne of God and you're going to have to explain to him why you refuse to hear his words and receive his words and obey his words. The words are found in a book as I said before and he's made them available. The Bible says if any man hear my words and believe not I judge him not but the words of God that you're rejecting are the same words that's going to judge you in the last day. All right, now let's move right along. John 18:37 John 18.37 says this. In 18.37, the Bible says, Pilate therefore saith unto him, Art thou the king then? Jesus answered, Thou sayest that I am a king. To this end was I born, and for this cause came I into the world, that I should bear witness unto the truth. Everyone that is of the truth heareth my voice. We need to hear the voice of the Lord as he's speaking to us. And I'm not talking about some audible voice out here somewhere that some so-called prophet told you that God spoke to him on the side of a mountain somewhere. I'm talking about the voice of the Lord that he has given us in his words because his voice is not going to contradict his word. His voice is not going to contradict the words that are found in the Bible. And if somebody comes along to you and says, thus saith the Lord or says that God told them this or God told them that, you can go ahead and reject that if it contradicts this book right here, my friend, because God's voice and God's word are tied and they're the same. John 10, 27 says it like this. John 10, 27 John 10, 27, we find this. The Bible says, My sheep hear my voice. The reason a lot of Christians aren't listening, so-called Christians aren't hearing the voice of God is because they're not sheep. They're wolves. They're goats. They've not been born again. So the voice of God's not coming to them, but I'll tell you why he is coming to them. A voice is coming to them, but it's not the voice of the Lord. It's a counterfeit voice. It's the voice of the enemy, and he's deceiving them in the masses. Another thing that we must hear is the words of the prophecy of this book. This is referred to as the Bible in general and the book of Revelation specifically. Revelation 22:18 says it like this. Revelation 22, verse 18. The Bible says, For I testify to everyone that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto them the plagues that are written in this book. If any man shall take away the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city from the things which are written in this book. We better not be tampering with the words of God. We are called to believe them, not critique them. We are called to believe God's word and not doubt them. The next thing that we are told to hear is found in Mark, uh, excuse me, in Matthew 17:5. In Matthew 17, 5, the Bible says this. Matthew 17, 5, we're told to hear Jesus. 
We're told to hear Jesus. 17.5 says this. It says, While yet spake, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed him, and behold, a voice out of the cloud, which said, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. We're called to hear Jesus Christ, and the way we hear Jesus Christ is to hear his words. The way we hear the words of Jesus Christ is to open up your King James Bible, read those words, and believe them, and walk in them. We also must hear the word of God, Mark chapter 4, verse 20. Mark chapter 4, and verse 20 says this. Mark 4, 20. And these are they which are sown on good ground, such as hear the word and receive it, and bring forth uh, fruit, some thirtyfold, some sixty, and some a hundredfold. They are those that hear the word of God. We're called to hear those words. All right, we must hear faith according to Galatians 3, 2. Go to Galatians chapter 3 and verse 2. Galatians 3, 2. The Bible tells us, This only would I learn of you, received ye the Spirit by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith. You can actually hear faith, and that comes from the preaching of God's Word according to Romans chapter 10, verse 17. What's interesting, my friend, is that the Word of God is connected to what we are told to hear in every single passage listed above. I heard a gentleman on the radio the other day that claimed to be a preacher that said that what we need today is not more people hearing and uh, being able to study and read and quote the Scriptures, but we need revelation. Well, how do you expect to get revelation unless you get into the book that, re that gives you revelation and then opens your eyes to revelation? This is a closed book, my friend, and all the revelation that God ever wanted us to have is, is contained in the King James Bible. And you are called not to add to it, and you're called not to take away from it, but you're called to believe it and to hear it and to walk in it. We're called to walk and hear the Word of God. Go to Mark chapter... Um, excuse me, Acts chapter 13, 44. Acts 13, 44, and we're moving right along. Acts 13, 44. Verse 44, it says it like this. And the next Sabbath day came almost the whole city together to hear the word of God. Now, my friend, in order to be able to hear the word of God, you must have the word of God available to you. And I encourage you today to lay aside all the excess baggage that's in your life that's preventing you from hearing the Word of God. Some people allow their sin to keep them from hearing the words of God. Some people allow their jobs to keep them from hearing the words of God. Some people allow their family and their friends to keep them from hearing the Word of God. But can I encourage you today to take some time out to get in quiet somewhere, pray, and open that good book and read the words of God. One last passage that we're going to go back to is found in Romans chapter 10, verse 17. Romans 10, 17. Romans 10, 17, it says it like this. It says this, So then faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. You're never going to have faith, my friend, until you uh, hear the words of God, because that's what produces faith in the heart and life of a man and causes him to be born again. We're born again by the incorruptible seed of the Word of God, which lives and abides forever. This has been your host, Pastor Mark Anderson from King James Bible Church. Until next time, I encourage you to tune in next time to the preaching of the Word of God on this broadcast. If you enjoyed this program today, please write to us at Post Office Box 297, Mount Olive, North Carolina 28365. God bless you and have a good day.